Hey guys, and welcome back to the Skyrim Mods Showcase. Today I'll be introducing new Skyrim mods that were recently added on Nexus and I think are worth checking out. Anyways, without wasting your time, let's get right into it. First up, we got a new magic mod called Storm Calling Magic 2 by Kitty Tail. As a continuation of the first Storm Calling Magic mod released 9 months ago, this mod elevates lightning magic to a whole new level by adding two more astonishing spells that showcase the true power of lightning. This mod recreates some of ESO's sorcerer active abilities, bringing five new and stunning magic skills with their unique magic effects. These spells include Mage Fury, which calls down a bolt of lightning to strike an enemy, perfect for use with TDM's target lock system. Strike, which transforms you into a stream of lightning and flashes forward, while Lightning Flood creates a nexus of storm energy that lasts for 10 seconds. Tesla Sphere creates a sphere of storm energy that electrifies anything in its path. And finally, Mailstorm conjures volatile lightning cloud to attack enemies. Another feature of Storm Calling Magic 2 is how you can obtain these spells. Once you reach level 75 in Destruction, these powerful spells will start to appear randomly in loot and magic merchant inventories. Overall, if you're looking to add a wide variety of spells to your Skyrim playthrough, Storm Calling Magic 2 is an excellent addition to your mod list. With its new visual effects and diverse range of lightning based spells, this mod will enhance your magic experience in Skyrim. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel as it helps my channel grow. Thank you so much for your support and let's continue the video. Another mod I want to showcase to you guys is Northern Farmhouses by 6 Floor 9. This mod combines meshes from the well-known Cities of the North Dawnstar mod and Falkreath with vanilla farmhouses to give them a fresh new look. The goal of this mod is to provide a Northern theme vibe to the farmhouses of Skyrim. It's important to note that this mod is intended to be used in conjunction with Cities of the North series. This will ensure that your Skyrim experience is cohesive and that the northern themed farmhouses will fit in seamlessly with their surroundings. Additionally, it's recommended to use a retexture mod along with this one, as the mod may look out of place with vanilla textures. Overall, this mod is definitely worth checking out. With its stunning new design and pleasing aesthetic, I recommend you guys to try this out, especially if you want to change things up visually. Another recently released Skyrim mod I want to share with you guys is Ferum Nibenis by Pulcharm. This is an armor mod that adds 3 new imperial themed armor sets and 2 new weapons in the world of Skyrim. The armor looks absolutely stunning and it actually reminds me of Egyptian themed armors for some reason. But overall, I think these armor sets are amazing. And if you're like me who loves adding endless amounts of armors into a mod list, then this one is no brainer to have. Next up, we got Redbag's Falkreath by Redbag, an exciting overhaul mod that completely transforms the look and feel of Falkreath in Skyrim. This mod not only revamps the aesthetics of the city, but also introduces an all-new arena where players can battle NPCs and earn some needed coin. The best part is, yes. it feels really smooth when entering the arena with no loading wait times. Redbag's Falkreath also adds two new residential houses, three guard towers, gates, walls, a stunning staff church, and 10 new NPCs. With so many new features to explore, this mod breathes new life into one of Skyrim's most iconic cities. One of the best things about Redbag's Falkreath is that it is designed to be compatible with other mods. In fact, the mod comes with a patch collection that includes over 100 patches, ensuring compatibility with any interior mod you may have installed. This makes it easy to integrate the mod into your existing Skyrim setup without having to worry about compatibility issues or conflicts. Overall, Redbag's Falkreath is a fantastic mod that adds new visuals and content to Skyrim. Carriage Drivers New Clothing by x -Tudo. This mod is a small but significant mod that enhances the immersion in Skyrim. Carriage Drivers are often overlooked 
but they play an important role in the game as they transport the player from one location to another. Have you ever wondered why carriage drivers only wear farm clothes throughout Skyrim? I mean, even in cold airs in Skyrim. It does not make sense. But with this mod, the carriage drivers now have appropriate clothing depending on the location, which makes the game feel more realistic. For example, in colder areas like Windhelm and Dawnstar, carriage drivers now wear gloves, fur collar, and a hood. Overall, this simple mod adds an additional layer of immersion to the game by making the carriage driver NPCs wear appropriate clothes depending on their location. If you're someone who values immersion in your gameplay, then this mod is definitely worth trying out. Last but not the least, The Old Ways Nordic Religion by Fremenic. The Old Ways Nordic Religion is a fascinating mod that adds new layer of immersion to the religion aspect of Skyrim. The restoration of Nordic Pantheon is done in a balanced way that is consistent with both Skyrim's and earlier games lore, making it a great addition to any player's game. One of the most notable features of this mod is the addition of shrines for the Nordic Totem Gods. These shrines are strategically placed in the wilderness, replacing existing wilderness shrines and adding new shrines in places where they make sense. The overhaul shrine locations have new decorations, which adds to the immersive experience. Additionally, new amulets are available at shrines or in leveled lists, which matches the new shrines. Overall, if you love to explore the wilderness of Skyrim and if you're a fan of the Elder Scrolls lore, this mod is sure to provide an enjoyable experience. And yet again, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to support the content you enjoy. Your comments and feedbacks are also greatly appreciated and help me improve future videos. Don't forget to stay safe out there and have fun in your Skyrim adventures. Happy modding everyone!